There are over 157,000 children living in poverty in Malaysia. This applies to children that come from poor families or orphans being raised with limited resources. The Budimas Charitable Foundation, a non-profit organisation, has spent over 19 years striving to provide guidance, funding and support for the underprivileged children. This is done via three major programmes, which are the Budimas Home Charity Fund, the Budimas Education Charity Fund and Budimas Food Charity Fund. The 18,500 square feet Budimas Orion home located in Senawang Negeri Milan stands at four storeys high and can house up to 150 children. There are currently 95 children aged ranging from 4 to 19 years old that are living together in the home which is complete with six dormitories, a dining area, study room, sick bay, kitchen and a field for outdoor activities. The home is supervised by home masters, matrons and are also looked after by the children themselves. The children attend local schools in Senawang and are also exposed to other classes such as martial arts, swimming and personal development skills. Okay, Budimas Orion operates just like a normal household, you know, where the matrons are parents and the children are just your everyday children. We have 80, more than 80 children and it can actually house 150 and because of that we need to have a set of procedures uh, to be cost effective and we need to be timely efficient. It helps to have matrons who are committed to, to assist us and it also helps a lot and eases our burden to have these monthly donors committing on a monthly basis. We also have uh, 30 other homes that we financially assist. Our aim is to get these children out of the poverty that their parents are going through or still going through and it does not continue with them. The Budimas Food Charity Fund began in 2010 supporting six schools in Kampas Lango. Back then, the foundation was providing nutritious breakfast every school morning to 350 children. Today, the foundation is reaching out to over 6,200 children from 95 different schools throughout the nation. The Budimas team works closely with the teachers from the schools to ensure that the children have their breakfast before they begin their day. Once they are selected, the food given is within $2.50 uh, rate where they will be given a main meal, drinks and also fruits. There are few schools being selected in uh, this particular area. I will go to the school and I will talk to the headmaster and um, I will give them the... They, they must choose between those who are getting below $1,000 and they must have more children. But on this, we also consider on those who are single parents and also they have more children. Last time when they came to the school without food, now once they got a food, they don't worry about other things, they will upkeep on the, their studies and we can see some improvement on their studies. Budimas Education Charity Fund aims to cultivate the interest towards education amongst the children of rural and poor villages. By having built five fully functional libraries in five different Orang Asli settlements in the state of Selangor and Nagris Milan over the span of two years, the foundation was able to reach out to over 400 children. The libraries have made a tremendous change on the perception of education amongst the Orangasti children and their parents who prior to this did not put much importance towards education. Kampung Orang Asli Bukit Kepung adalah kampung orang asli yang terletak di daerah Port Gison yang di mana mereka bergantung ekonominya kepada kebun getah dan juga sawit. Uh, 
uh, dan sebagai bilangan kecilnya bekerja di kawasan perhotelan yang terdapat di sekitar uh, Port Dyson. Anak-anak orang asli pada ketika itu eh, dahulunya memang tidak mendapat pendidikan secara formal tetapi di dalam perpustakaan ini pelbagai aktiviti diadakan mengikut lapisan umur mereka di mana kalau kita dapat lihat dekat sini adanya ya kalau bagi anak-anak kecil ya sudah dibawa ke sini untuk memberi peredahan kepada pengenalan pembacaan ABC pengiraan 123 dan juga aktiviti mengala bermewarna untuk anak-anak yang kecil dan untuk lapisan yang kedua diadakan juga aktiviti-aktiviti permainan permainan yang berbentuk yang bercorak kepada pendidikan Pihak Yayasan Budi Mas juga dia mengadakan uh, program ya, yang untuk kanak-kanak orang asli Bukit Kepung ini ya, yang melibatkan library ini iaitu membawa anak-anak luar, ya, anak-anak masyarakat luar datang ke sini ya, untuk sama-sama mereka menjalankan aktiviti di sini. Ya, jadi dekat situ kita dapat lihat uh, bukan saja uh, untuk meningkatkan pendidikan malah ianya untuk juga uh, uh, merapatkan hubungan masyarakat orang asli tadi itu dengan masyarakat yang luar. Sebelum ini saya tidak tahu bercakap dalam bahasa Inggeris atau baca buku Inggeris. Tetapi sekarang saya tahu bercakap bahasa Inggeris seperti My name is Nufazinda binti Amran. So for Pudimas Orion We sponsor the kids in terms of their accommodations, food, and educations. Average, we have spent around 10 ringgit to 15 ringgit per child, depending on their age. In terms of educations, what we cover includes tuition fees, swimming classes, taekwondo classes. For other homes, we also give financial assistance. To date, we have sponsored 30 homes across Malaysia. And more than 1,500 children has benefited from our fund. Includes electricity bill, rental payment, and all their basic needs expenses. In total, we have spent more than a million a year for Budimas Home Charity Fund. This includes Budimas Orion and also all other homes across Malaysia. Uh, mengikut uh, prosedur yang kita praktiskan 20% uh, daripada 4,000 naskah yang kita letak dalam perpustakaan itu akan pihak uh, Budimas akan beli dan 80% 4,000 pihak Budimas uh, menggalakkan orang awal dengan organisasi untuk menderma buku-buku yang terpakai ataupun buku-buku yang baru buku-buku itu diperlukan untuk kita penuhi dalam perpustakaan yang kita akan bina di kampung orang asli The Foundation's efforts are made possible by the generous public that sign up as donors and contributions from corporate organisations. The Budimas team works dedicatedly to share the Foundation's work with the public and encourage them to join in the effort. I choose to donate to the Budimas Charitable because I can see the Foundation aims of sustain, livelihood, welfare, happiness and better living for the children Uh, in any circumstances. Uh, I hope my small contribution can improve the life of every children and uh, bring them love of future and hope to them. In the Chisang, we also see how Budimas is able to help the society. And we also see how to help those who are not aware of it. And I think this government program is very good because it is also for 给我们一个平台去做慈善，然后这个平台又可以广发我们的心中的的那个爱给这个社会，所、so, 以我觉得这个是一个很好的平台给我们做慈善。I think the long-term dream that we have is to actually expand the Budimas Orion Homes. Probably the next home will probably not be called Orion, be given some other name. A basic expansion of the homes because we have.、Um, Direct control over the cost of the home, the running of the home. I think we are actually very good at the、um, the fostering of the the children and the education side. I think we're very strong. I think in the end we would be looking at more more homes. Every contribution are made by many different heroes. These are the heroes that look after the children's daily needs.
these are the heroes that manage and channel the funds for the children. These heroes are the ones that raise funds from the generous public. And also the heroes like you that give the children the opportunity for a better life and future. Sebelum saya join dengan Budimas, sebelum ni saya tak sekolah. Saya tak, tak dalam main kawan lah sebab dah lima tahun tak sekolah. So, duduk rumah, tolong jaga adik-adik, orang kebajikan tu, ambil saya. Antara saya kat Budimas, so saya rasa bersyukur lah dapat sekolah balik kan. Waktu saya sekolah pun, waktu dekat Sengke Serang Pangan pun, pengetua dia pun tak terima. Yelah sebab dah lama tak sekolah kan. Lepas tu, dah merayu-merayu-merayu sampai cikgu tu terima. So saya buktikan lah dalam rezab peti-tiri saya. Walaupun saya tak sekolah, Alhamdulillah ok saya dapat 3A. Saya harap saya dalam tahun depan, saya akan ambil SPM, saya harap saya dapat straight A. Saya nak jadi seorang lawyer. I would like to start by saying thank you um, very much for your contributions and your support for us, for the children throughout the years, and for instilling your trust in us to basically channel these monies and contributions for these children. Because without those contributions, um, rest assured that we cannot do what we do for these children. And what we're trying to do for the underprivileged children in Malaysia is that we're trying to get them out of the cycle of poverty. We don't want the same thing that happened to their parents happen to them as well. I would like to say that the level of poverty in Malaysia is still rising. We still need to do more for these children because they're still in existence and we need to help them because that's the right thing to do. And we are very grateful for the Malaysian public and for people like you for trusting in us to do this for the children.